A cat and mouse game is playing out between NATO and Germany. NATO has long been pressing Germany for increasing its defense budget up to 2% of its GDP. Germany has never complied though, but in February when the war broke out between Ukraine and Russia, Germany finally said it will increase its military budget for this year by a whopping 100 billion euros. Germany also declared that it will buy F-35 fighter jets from American company Lockheed Martin. But guess what? Almost after 10 months since the war broke out, Germany simply chose to walk back on its promise. During a government press conference, chief spokesperson Stefan Hebestritt scaled down expectations for Germany's defense spending, telling journalists that the 2% target would be missed not only this year, but also likely next year. As per media reports, the government has also put the plans of purchasing weapons from Lockheed Martin on hold. The German government has blamed these delays on long procurement process and supply shortage. All in all, the German government is in no mood to fund NATO's project in Ukraine. Last year, the German government spent just 1.5% of its GDP on its defense budget, a clear violation of NATO guidelines. They say that uh, the budget should be at least 2% of GDP. And even after it promised to raise its budget by 100 billion euros this year, the German government was quickly accused of making stealth defense cuts. Various economic experts are saying that the government in Berlin is just manipulating the numbers. They say that the government will spend additional 100 billion euros in just one year and the core defense budget will eventually decrease again once the 100 billion fund is stripped out. So, Germany is leaving no stone unturned to avoid funding massive military budgets and letting US earn billions from it. Walking back on the defense budget increase promise shows that Germany no longer views Russia as a threat to its security. From the Angela Merkel era, the government in Berlin has seen Russia as a trading and energy partner. Nord Stream 1 and 2 pipelines are the biggest testaments of this partnership. In October this year, the former German Chancellor said it was very rational and understandable to get pipeline gas, including from Russia, that was cheaper than LNG from other parts of the world. And now, when Germany is grappling with back-breaking energy and gas crises, it is forced to rethink its hostile, US-guided, ill-thought policy towards the Kremlin. That is why last Sunday, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz said that it would be a grave mistake to stop talking to Russian President Vladimir Putin altogether. He made this remark after a phone conversation with Putin on Friday to discuss the ongoing war in Ukraine. By taking a Russia dovish line, the German government is rubbing US the wrong way. It knows very well friendly ties between Russia and Europe are a big threat to the American military industrial complex, MIC. For example, Lockheed Martin is about to lose contracts worth billions of dollars if peace dawns upon Ukraine and Germany buries the hatchet with Russia. So, a livid US is now imposing an economic war on Europe. The German finance minister Christian Lindner warned Saturday about USA's trade war against Europe over the Inflation Reduction Act. Joe Biden is baffled because Europe is talking peace. But Europe is increasingly embracing economic and diplomatic ties with Russia and decoupling its foreign policy from US. India's world telling the right side of the story.